Hi everyone, it's Gail. We are going to work on some um, covers for our bunny journals, for our Easter journals. And that's what we're going to do today. But first, hi and hugs to Paula, Marge, Jill, and Debbie. Thank you so much for watching and for your nice comments. So we're making two journals and um, I went ahead and did the first cover on my own because I want to make sure it was going to work out like I had it in my mind and it did. So um, the inside we've got this nice deep fabric pocket and of course the middle of it will be um, it will be you know sewn in or uh, what do I want to say um, attached sturdy whatever when we sew in the signature. So I didn't put another uh, seam down there be just because I don't need it and I didn't want to we weaken the spine. So I had these cute, cute um, cross stitch pieces from Happy Mail. So I cut it down and put it on the cover. Um, this quilt was from um, Emily at Vintage po Polka Dot Shop and um, cut that yesterday. And then um, I just sewed lace on all of the seams. So essentially this cover is done. The only thing I need to do is I need to go around the edges with fray check. I'll do both of those, both of the covers at the same time with that. Um, the fray check, I do have it on my Gail's Favorite Things on my website, or um, you can get it if you have a Joann's or someplace like that. Okay, so I'm going to do the second one, and we're going to do it together. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. This is just what I had in my brain, and so it's always nice when it actually <laughs> turns out that way. Okay, so we're going to do, we're going to do some sewing and stuff today is what we're going to do. So this is the pocket for the next one. I've got my handy dandy little um, craft iron here. So I'm just going to iron a bit here. Um, so we'll get this part done and then we can actually get rid of the iron, get it out of our way so I can get my sewing machine over here too. So yeah, just going to iron some of the, the wrinkles out there. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I have this trim that I am going to put on the upper edge because um, this fabric is rather flimsy. And so, you know, it wouldn't, wouldn't hold up very well, I don't think. So I'm just um, going to iron these in half, just fold it in half and iron it so that it can easily go over the edge. Okay. Whoops. My cord is messing me up here. Okay. So that is ready to go on that okay and then the last thing i want to iron is the inside cover because it was a little bit a little bit wrinkly too you know just from being folded so i'll just iron that out a little bit sadly this is the only ironing i ever do <laughs> clothes yeah not so much <laughs> Now that we're not working, when they were retired, our clothes don't require ironing. Hardly ever. Funerals, that's about it. <laughs> so, okay. So that's pretty good there, too. Okay, so I am going to set this aside for a second. And I'm going to unplug my iron and put my iron away so that I don't accidentally burn myself and we can get my sewing machine up there. Talk amongst yourselves for a second while I move this. Okay. All right. 
Well, I am virtually buried in bunnies right now. They're all around me, everywhere, behind me, beside me, everywhere, buried in bunnies, barricaded with bunnies, burrowing in with bunnies. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, I think I'm gonna go this way only because this has the selvage, the little holes. So if we put this over, then that will be hidden too. So double, double benefit there. So I'm just gonna lay this in here if it cooperates. And trying to get it pretty much all the way up to the crease. Okay. Um, yep. So that's good. So what I'm going to do first thing is we're going to attach that. So I'm going to just bring over my sewing machine because I've been moving. Everything is falling all over the place because I rearranged my sewing desk. Okay. I did uh, go ahead and fill a bobbin too. I was going to change to pink and I really liked the, um, I liked the gray, so I decided not to. So let's see, I'm gonna go straight with that and you're gonna be able to kind of see what I'm doing. It, I guess it's better than not having it there. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a zigzag. I'm not gonna worry about, um, back stitching because this is going to be stitched the other way so no need really just going to make sure that this bottom part is you'll be hopping around a little bit with the sewing machine. I'm sorry about that, but there's nothing I can do about that. So, oh my goodness, thank you. Just went ahead and put the sewing machine on the, the strings. Okay, so pocket is ready there. And this is gonna be longer than we're gonna need, but we're gonna sew around the whole cover so that's okay but i just want this let's see i just need to scoot a little bit just to get this lined up and you could pin this and all of that jazz i i don't because i can just i can hold it good enough is how i is how i feel about it okay so i'm gonna sew around that now And we're just gonna plop that down, gonna hold. Now here I will go back and forth a little bit. Just to make sure it's on there good and tight. Okay, the bottom. I'm just going about a width of the um, sewing foot. If I press down on the I press down on the sewing machine it doesn't make the the table hop around quite as much but yeah it's just it is what it is okay My uh, sewing table where my sewing machine normally sits is an old antique 
sewing table that I redid for my shop when I had my shop and um, when I closed the shop it still hadn't sold so I had that I love it okay so that that is that is the inside we are basically done with the inside so I'm going to set that over here and we are going to grab so this is going to be our um, this is going to be our cover. I'm deciding, I think I want to go this way. And then this one is going to be like a little boy bunny on this one. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Okay, so I need to cut down, I need to cut down the boy bunny. Okay, I need to just get my sewing machine kind of out of the way. Are you able to see everything okay? I didn't zero in at all today because I knew there was going to be kind of a lot going on. And the great thing about this Ada cloth is you can kind of just follow along and you know you're getting it straight. <laughs> follow the dots. Follow the dots. So got these in Happy Mail. I don't know if she said she got them at the thrift store, but I've seen things like this at the thrift store. It's like it was it was the hobby of choice in the what would it have been? Maybe early 80s, 90s, something like that. And um and I guess people people did a bunch of cross stitches and then don't have anything to make with them or tired of them or whatever so it's kind of fun to give them new life as a journal cover yeah so keep your eyes open you never know if you find something like this at the thrift store I would sure go ahead and pick it up Yeah, the gray thread I felt was just fine because of the bunny's fur. It's all gray. And I'm keeping this. This is good stuff for layering. Or, you know, you could even make a pocket out of that. So I'm keeping all the cutoffs. But I need to need to zero him down here a little bit so that he fits on the cover. And I don't know if I'm done with, like, with the other cover yet. I mean, like I might put some crocheted flowers on the front or something like that too, but basically, basically it's done. I'll just see what the, see what the piece tells me later. Okay. So this is going to be the front. This one is a little bit frayed this fabric right here. I'm looking at it thinking, do I want to reinforce that before I get the bunny on? I think I do. Um, yeah. I mean, I could put a thicker lace or something. I'm looking at my lace options here. This I got at a, a estate sale, this lace. I'd been going down the corners, but I think, I think I might just sew that on right there. And that will be, I think for all that way, all the way down, I think I'll do. And I think that then will um, reinforce that. We'll do that before we get Mr. Bunny on. Oh, sometimes you gotta, depending sometimes you have to uh, adjust on the fly you know what I mean like we can't have okay what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna straight stitch down both sides of this lace just to make sure it's covering that part So, going to back stitch because it's in the middle of the piece. 
sorry. Okay, I think what I'll do is just turn this, go across, and pull it through and go down the other side. Okay, I feel better about that. I just wanted to make sure he was going to stay together. Okay. Alrighty. So now move the sewing machine a little bit here and give us some room to work. Okay. So we're going to have this essentially in half. This guy is going to go right there and I love it. I love, love, love it. Now this lace is looking a little crooked, I mean, but I don't care. I need the bunny to be straight. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put a little bit, just a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac just in the middle of the bunny. Just to hold him where I want him while I, excuse me, my stomach's growling. I hope you can't hear that. My husband was going to make a smoothie, he said, but I haven't seen him yet. He said he was going to bring it down, so that might happen in the middle of the video here, but that's okay. Yeah, so I think I'll just put him, put him right there. Little cute bunny. Yeah, look at that. Okay, and then we are going to zigzag around him. And I, I don't know, I think I'll just start over here. And I'm trying to keep uh, kind of right to right to the inside edge of my foot. That's my width. And if I decide to add lace and stuff after or something, after I'm done sewing, well, I'll just fabric tack it on. bunnies on there. Another step completed. Okay. Let's see. Did I get them all? Sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Okay. So now, um, how much over here can you see? You can see pretty well. Okay. Good. Sorry, I'm... I'm running over bunny things. Like I said, I'm surrounded. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to put lace here and there on this. Um, kind of loving this long thing here. I think I'm going to use this again from an estate sale. This lace. I think I'm going to use this pink lace. an interesting funky little thing happening right there it's like they uh 
they sewed two pieces of lace together on this roll. That's so weird. Can you see that? I don't know if you can, but yeah. I think I'll just snip that off. Okay. Alrighty. So now, um, how do I want to attach that? Uh, I used it over here too. Did I just... Yep, I just did a straight stitch down the middle is what I did. Okay, so I think I'll go this way because then I don't have to feed the bunny through the part of my machine. Oh, look at that. I came on I came undone. Oh no. It always takes me five hours to um it always takes me five hours to do my threading because it's just old eyes. <laughs> That's all it is. That's my only excuse. Well, gotta cut it. Just a little afraid. Oh, sorry guys. Yes, yes, success. Okay, well, we have a mega long string. Do not need that that long. Okay, not sure how that happened, but what if? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna feed this through with this side to my machine so it's just easier. Okay, and Again, we're going to have fray check and stuff, so I'm not going to even worry about back stitching. Just going to run a seam right down the seam. There we go. That's done. And now we get to decide what other laces we want there. Um, I think I'll do a blue here, which I think I'll do ugh, this blue. Always got to figure out which side's which, you know. Okay. And kind of try and tuck that under this piece. Okay, and slide our cover all the way in. And what I'm going to do is fold back the pink lace because this I'm going to back stitch because it's. Um, in the middle of the piece, you know what I'm saying? Not on the edge. And of course you don't have to add this lace. I just kind of wanted to for this journal. I don't know. Just thought it'd be fun. Clip clipping the strings okay now okay so we have this and this that I'd like to do so I think we'll use some white oh my husband's making the smoothie I can hear him that's good you don't need to be hearing my tummy growl <laughs> So now, same thing. So this part's a little bit fiddly, but but I think it's cute. So okay, really only takes a second to sew these little pieces. So 
much fun. Okay, there you are. All right. And then, um, and then I want a piece down here. Ooh, this is, yeah, I'm going to have to put something here because this is kind of torn too. This little bit right here. Have to think about that for a second. Might have something up in my, I don't know. But let's do that. What color do we want? Don't want pink, don't want white. So I guess I want blue. <laughs> Process of elimination, right? Yeah, that's cute right there. We'll put that right there. Hi, honey. Are you here? Did you bring me a smoothie? Nope. I thought I heard him. Didn't hear him. Okay, so we're gonna sew that on there. Once again, same, same way. It'd be easier if I didn't have to start on this end, but that's okay. Well, but we can do it. Now, I think I might want a little bit at the top on the front cover, too. Get all the strings off of here. That one's tiny. Okay, so I do think I want some lace here. They're just itty bitties, but um, I think I want the white here. Yes, I do. And don't want blue there. There's white there. Let's do pink there because we don't have any pink on the front. Let's do pink here. Okay. All righty. Oh, where to go? Did I pick it up with myself? What did I do with the little pink? Oh, yep, it didn't cut all the way. Still attached by one thread. Okay. I'm like, oh my gosh, how do you lose things when they're right in front of your face? <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to give this a quick little, oh, I think that's, yep, had it upside down. Probably wouldn't matter, but, you know. It's like six stitches, you know, <laughs> but okay, and these, and then we'll put the pink one on and we'll be done fussing with the lace, even though I just, I think it adds a little something to this one. bobbin's running out so I'm glad that I did a bobbin before I started had a feeling okay all right so now so now I gotta move the sewing machine okay. so basically our cover is ready as is the inside. So if you remember yesterday, I glued down this envelope and really this is just for um, stability in it to make it a little bit heavier and have more body. You could use a file folder. I like the weight of a um, nine by 12 envelope. It's just my preference, but you can do it however you like. Okay. So so what I'm going to do is lay this down like that 
And then we are going to use some Fabri-Tac and I'm gonna just randomly smush some in the middle like so and then I'm gonna flip over and I'm gonna go right about there see this is kind of crooked I think I actually might fix that now rather than I mean you can always cut later you can always even things up after it's sewn but it's just it's easy for this one to just give that a little snip okay now we're gonna put more Fabri-Tac on this side in no particular pattern just smooshed on there okay and then we're done with the fabric tag. And so I'm going to make sure this is the front, right side up. That's always important. And we're going to put this down. I'm kind of matching, trying to match the this edge here. And this edge is going to hang over a bit, this edge. Okay, so now we have our, our cover sandwich, if you will. Okay, and so we're ready to sew it. So let's pull this over and I'm gonna zigzag. And what else do I need to tell you about this? What I'm gonna do, I know that the inside is bigger, so I'm gonna use the, um, I'm gonna use this out side as my guide. So I like to start on the back. I don't know why, but I do. Let me move a couple of things. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm falling off my chair. I got to get resituated. Alrighty then, let's go. Again, I'm going about the width of my foot. It's thick, so I'm having to help it quite a bit. Okay, guys, I'm running into things. I'm going to have to bring my sewing machine closer to me. I hope you can still see a little bit, but that needs to happen. Okay, and we'll turn it, and down this side we go. Sometimes you have to kind of feed the lace under too, because it's because the foot will push it up. So I just lift up the foot and plop it back down on top of the lace and keep a going. Running in again. Okay, now I can see that my inside is a little off of there, so. Oop. Come 
on my thin stuff here. Hopefully the sewing will reinforce that a bit. there. Okay. Definitely going to have to put something in that area. around it. All right, now I'm going to move my sewing machine out of my way for a minute and we're going to trim it up. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. Okay, so this side for sure needs the trim, but I use my sewing sewing scissors works a lot better and see um, we're cutting off the stitching that we did on the pocket but it's restitched when it's stitched to the cover so not a worry at all see it's stitched to the cover okay so I'm going to trim this slightly here and then I saw a little bit here And there's some on this side. Now you could put a trim around the edge. I prefer a raggedy edge. It's just a personal preference. But um, if you wanted, you could put trim all the way around too. Yeah, I thought this was a little funky here. Yeah, there we go. Oh, a little bit there. Just neatening, kneading things up. Neatening? I don't know. I think I just made up that word. All right, and so then this one, all we have to do is do the fray check too. So um, I'll check time and we'll see about that. Um, okay, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, next is just folding it and making sure that envelope is creased. So you could use your bone folder, but edge of my scissors works pretty good too. All right. All right, so there's our covers for our journals. I love them. I, I'm very happy with them. I don't, the fray check's really messy and you guys have seen me do it before. Oh, and I need to get the other top on too. Um, there's, I have another top that has like, it goes, it smooshes this and goes around it, but whatever. So I'm not going to do that on camera. It's messy and then I'll have to clean up. So I'll do that after. So we're at about 40 minutes. Okay. So anyway, those are the covers. Aren't they so sweet? I think they're adorable. Okay. Yep. It's always good when you're happy with what you've done. So let me move you in a little bit. Move my and we'll talk about the signatures a little and some ephemera ideas and stuff. And then, then we'll be good. Okay, so let us, where is my, okay, 
get the sewing scissors out of the way. I can't find their, their holder at the moment. Okay, I gotta pick this up. Sorry guys, my lace is driving me nuts. It's all over the place. Um, so yesterday I went through um, my bunny suitcase. It's, it's gone from a project box to a suitcase and picked out some other children's um, uh, children's book pages. And so I was thinking about using this on the cover too, which I could, yeah, I might put that across there. Yep, that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, sidetracked because that, um, it needs reinforcing this fabric right down here. So, okay, not done with fabric tack. I told a fib there. Um, but like I say, there might be more that I want to do to these journal covers, but I want to get going on the book and see what it kind of tells me, you know? what it says it wants to do. Okay, it's just, we're just gonna pop that on there. That'll, that'll take care of that. Move my credit card. So as not to get disgustingly Goobered up by the fabric tack. Okay, need a little more on this end though. Okay. All right. That's good. That's good to have that on there and drying and stuff and well while we're doing other things. Okay. All right. So now. So now, so now. I was going to show you what, what I found. Ugh. Threads and there's something about my, my plastic tables. They create electricity and they just gather things. Jimmy Joe hair <laughs> and threads and fabric and stuff. Okay. So this is the one and, um, as I put them together, it looks like I'm gonna have to glue that a little bit, but I put washi tape down. I was gonna tell you these really cool papers that I got. Um, the darkness is cause they've been, they've really been baked. And so it's split when I, when I folded it. So it needed reinforcement, which now the reinforcement needs reinforcement <laughs> looks like. So we'll do that. So put the signatures together. That should be more in the middle. That's part of one of the children's book pages. Oh, aren't they just so pretty? The papers that Rachel did. Oh, I love them. So little Beatrice Potter. Let's put a little bit of that in there. And then this little book just found this little book and the bunny was so sweet had to do it also have a what is that pole cat I don't know about pole cats so and then a blue with this and then that I think I might have to put something in between those so that's that one this one Again, I put the washi on. Look at, isn't that cute? So, so just some cute bunnies. Just trying to use up some of the pages that have been sent to me. Again, there's Beatrice. And I did this because I thought I could put a tuck there, maybe. There's that cute bunny. And the blue. Yeah, so I need something in there. So we'll be thinking about that here. Um, 
And then I, I have these new little buckets. Um, you guys, after I get my move done and I've had a chance to kind of work with some of the stuff I've ordered, I'm going to put some of the organizational stuff on my Gail's Favorite Things because um, there's already a couple things I'm really loving. So, so I'll probably do that. So in this bucket, I went through my coffee guide stuff and just took some things that I thought we might like to use. Like I would like to use some of these vellum pockets again. Um, these are just, uh, these are things I got from Caroline. Um, various coffee dyed and there's some avocado dyed. I wanted to do another one of these because we have one done that I did in my, um, in my challenge for the letter D. I've got some bags those two. So just some general stuff that we might want to use. And then I've gone through my box and I have all sorts of bunny things that people have sent me to put in the book. Um, here are the things that we made that day. Um, these, I think these are TLC Creates Vintage, if I'm not mistaken. I think that's who these printables are from. I'll double check and put it in the description box. And then somebody sent me um, this bow bunny. And so I thought there might be some stuff in there. And then my bunny die cuts. So already my organization has helped me because it was like I knew right where to go to just get bunny stuff. So we have that then we also have my digital um of my vintage uh easter postcards and i love them and want to play with some of want to play with them too so so yeah got plenty plenty of stuff to work with let's see how are we doing time wise well we're about 47 I don't know. The other thing that I want to think about, and maybe we can just pick it out right now, and that would be something to take us to our hour, is I want to do um, fabric flips, of course. And so um, I have some of the fabrics left from doing the covers. I also have some other really cute ones that were in my suitcase. Look at this one. I thought this one was super cute with these little bunnies. And it's all hemmed. Like, I think it was a, like a table, table runner thing or something. But I'm going to cut it up. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I might, I think I might use this in these because I just think it's so pretty. But I'm thinking if I do use it for a flip, then things would be covering it up, you know, cover up the bunnies. Like I particularly saw this spot right here. So I suppose I could, let's just, let's just play a little bit and see what we get. Oh, I also grabbed some of my stamping because I have Aosier's bunny stamp on some of my stamping. So thought we might want to use those in things too. Okay, so we're like eight and a half, so maybe seven and a half would be a good place. Well, look, there's a reason I still have out my fabric scissors. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see if we come up with another one, but I love this one. And so we only probably want that about four and a half. So I'm gonna cut right here. And I'm gonna cut right here. I mean, it's not every day you get a hemmed bottom flip from this girl. <laughs> That's kind of cool. 
Okay. Yep. That's going to be one of them. I just think that's fun. And we can put fabrics here with those bunnies there. Okay. So do we have, I mean, that could be cute too. Okay. Let's I'm just going to take off a strip right here and try and leave that bunny's little face. That could be a fun ruffle. Okay, and then... So it's been a, a fabric-heavy day today, hasn't it? And then if I go right about here... There'll be... There'll be these three bunnies, and I can kind of put some fabric at the top. So that's kind of fun. Okay, look at all these strings. Oh my. Get rid of a few of those. When I'm digging through my fabric, it's always kind of annoying to get hung up on all the strings, you know. So I do try to get them cut off when I can. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. We got both covers done. That is awesome. Okay. So we will fold up, fold up this bunny fabric. And these two. I mean, those could seriously be pockets, couldn't they? With the nice little... Well, let's kind of leave those at the top of our stack of fabric. Maybe we'll do that. I don't know. We have to get into it and see. So I don't know that I have fabric out that I can use with this. Because Mike could use this one. Yeah, that one would be okay. Then there's this gray... That could be okay, too. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. So, I don't know. I'm just playing, guys. Just killing time till the video's done. <laughs> okay, I want to get a strip of this. Let's just go right there. Salvage. It'll stop you dead in your tracks when you're ripping. Okay. Yeah. Let's put like maybe that right there. So I'm thinking maybe that this way. And I'm thinking maybe we could do one this way. Yeah, I'll put that there. And then I want a little strip of this guy too. I want it to be a little bit thinner, though. Hmm, I've got to think about what we're going to want for belly bands for this, too, don't we? Oh boy, strings. Again, there we go. So I'm thinking about. I think I want to put that there. I think I want it to be thinner though. Yet, maybe about right there, like that. 
Okay, that's a fun little piece to use on something. And this one, I want to have go down the middle of this other one, or maybe, yeah, down the middle, I think. Oh, right about there. And I need it to be a little thinner, too. I mean, I could use those strips as belly bands and decorate them up a little bit. Might be what we'll do. Yep. Put that there. Put that there. I need something across there. Let's see. What do I have in my handy in my snippet box here? Is that no? Okay. Just want a little piece of lace across there. We maybe do. And that being the case, we want a little lace right down the middle there. I think so. Okay. So I can sew those quick like. I turned off my sewing machine, of course, because I thought we were done. Okay, I'm just going to, I think I'm actually just going to do a straight stitch down this one. I won't bring my sewing machine over. I'll just zip it real quick. There's that one. And then we'll do this one just at the top as well. Just like that, we have fabric for this. Now we might decide that we'd like to put a little flower or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Something, but they're fun. Those will be fun in there. Let's see. It's funny, but this one says girl to me, so I'm going with this one for the girl. Maybe we just put that right there, and then that's still journaling spot, or we could put it on this side. I think I like it on this side. I don't want to cover up that pretty marking on the coffee dyed paper. Awesome. Well, let's just put them in. Um, you know, no time like the present. I know that's where I want them. Goodness. I didn't get it. A little bit of the glue gooks off some strings from the cross stitch I think there we go okay well this is exciting right we're actually decorating the journal didn't expect to get to that today it's funny though the first cover took me a, a lot longer than the second it's funny when you do something more than once how subsequent times you're just able to go a little faster okay granted I could have sewn that onto the page I like to use glue only because um, sometimes the the pages don't like to be sewn on you know sometimes it kind of it kind of works on the integrity of the of the paper so that's why I'm gluing but you do whatever you do. Okay. Covers done. Flips in. That's so fun. So I'm guessing the next, well, I might get them sewn in on my own and then maybe we'll just work on ephemera and decorating and that sort of fun stuff 
because I have um, I have all of Rachel's fun. I have these two collage pages, and then I have all the fun ephemera from the kits. So of course Rachel's info will be in there too. Who else, who else's info am I putting in there? Did I say? Ugh, can't remember now. Oh. Um. Oh, those those journal cards. That's right. That's right. So I'll double check and make sure that that's TLC Creates Finish Vintage, but I think so. Okay, guys, I'm going to call it a video. Thanks so much for helping me create these, this cover. Oh, yeah, see, that's a lot better there. It's nice and nice and gone over with that lace. That was, that was a good move. Okay, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.